What's new crew? If you're new, my name's Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm gonna be bringing you guys through my garden for an updated garden tour. Truth be told, I really wanted to wait to do this because it is a hot mess in here. This has been the craziest summer for us just health-wise. My family keeps getting hit with the flu. So the flu has gone through my house like three times. Uh, it just will, it's relentless. We just got hit with a another batch of the flu and my whole family was down i think from the time the first person got it to the time the last person got it it was like six days so it was just madness in my house for about six days and i've only had one day which was yesterday to come in here and try to get caught back up my husband came in here helped me out you're gonna see a lot of pile of weeds that we picked yesterday that are just kind of in piles in here a whole section of the garden that is completely just completely gone and we're gonna try to bring that back to life but i figured let's just walk you guys through this show you guys the real life of what's happened and kind of where the state is at so let's go through here's my roll of cherry tomatoes one thing that i was able to do yesterday was actually get these cages around my cherry tomatoes but we have some cherry tomatoes coming in here which is really exciting i'm just like checking three times a day to make sure that uh, they're not turning any colors on me. Does anyone else get like that with their tomatoes? They just get super excited for them to start to ripen and it's like when you keep opening the refrigerator to make sure that there's nothing else in there, that's how I feel about my tomatoes right now. But all of these are looking really great and they seem a lot happier today um, being up in the cages. I'm trying to get them up off the ground. It just helps prevent diseases and other yucky things from happening. So this was one thing that I was able to check off the list yesterday, which mentally just made me feel like I was catching back up on the garden, and it was a really easy thing to check off the list. Now here is our tomato jungle. We did come through here yesterday and picked all of the weeds, or at least most of them. Um, there's definitely still some that we need to go through and pick, but for the most part, this is mostly picked. We also started putting posts here so that we can get these trellised up finally it's so late in the season and i feel like it's almost kind of like what's the point but i want to get these up off the ground growing vertically and seeing if those help my tomatoes this year uh, but these tomatoes are amazing we have so many in here i've never had my tomato plants look so great and have so many tomatoes on them and they look really, really good. So I'm really happy about that. We have a couple different variety in here, but lots and lots of flowers. It's just really fun. It's just been kind of hard because everyone's been so sick. I feel like I haven't had any time to really just enjoy the garden. It's more of like a stressful thing for me right now because I feel like I'm so behind, but it does not matter what plant you pick. You're gonna start kind of pulling away and you're going to see tomatoes which is amazing and some of these are actually so big that um they're breaking the branches off so that's another reason we got to get these tied up hopefully we're going to do that over the next couple of days like you can see here that some of the plants are just like dying because the stems are getting so heavy that they're like partially breaking off the plant itself so we have to get these taken care of i did put this uh, tomato in a cage because the kids accidentally trampled it while they were heading into the chicken coop which is right here the chicken run so we did put this one up in a cage and it actually mended itself it's looking really good I wasn't sure if it was going to survive because they almost broke it off at the base but you can see even on this plant we have beautiful looking tomatoes coming in and I'm just same thing just checking these tomatoes all the time to just wait for any sort of change in in the tomatoes if you watched my last garden tour for June, you know, we have had a lot of pest issues in the garden this year. Uh, deer being the most significant of them. I've had deer in my garden in previous years. Um, mostly them just like walking through, not really bugging anything. Uh, so I've almost, some years I fenced it and some years I haven't. This year has been horrendous. We have a deer uh, living right around the property here and it is anything that's in here it's eating it's annihilated all my strawberries it ate my rhubarb down to absolutely nothing because that area isn't fenced um so you'll be able to see while we walk through here i'll show you guys where they kind of came in here and just mowed everything down and you'll see the deer tracks kind of throughout the garden as they walk through but one of the things they were annihilating were my pepper plants 
it is starting to come back it has gotten some growth on it and you can see that we are starting to get some buds in here which is exciting I was nervous that we weren't gonna get anything these are my green peppers I have four green pepper plants here these are the saddest of all of my pepper plants by far because these are the ones that the deer uh, really attacked and really got after but I have bell peppers on another stretch of uh, the garden here that are looking much better but these are just California wonders but they are starting to bud I really wanted to talk openly today about really feeling discouraged because I was even looking at my videos from this time last year because I'm thinking man I'm not pulling anything out of the garden I have not pulled anything out of here yet and um, other than the kale and some lettuce and I'm thinking I should have more than this. I usually have green beans and peas coming in and I thought well maybe not but I went and looked last year the first week of July I was pulling baskets and bushels and bushels of beans and peas out of the garden and I have not pulled one bean or one pea out of my garden yet and it really made me feel like I'm behind the eight ball that I'm not doing as well that maybe I'm like digressing in progress and I don't really think that's the case. I think that in hindsight, it might be a blessing that things are taking longer to come in this year with the fact that being my family just kept getting sick and kept getting sick and we wouldn't have been able to keep up with it and it would have made me feel worse if I had a ton of beans out here and a ton of peas out here and I didn't harvest them in time and then they got tough and then we didn't want to eat them. That would have made me feel a lot worse than uh, feeling like they're not coming up yet, they're taking forever to get through. So. That's kind of been my thought process so far, but we're just passing through the rest of our jungle of tomatoes here. And this is part of the garden that we do have fenced off. I actually left all of my tomatoes open because we're gonna go way back to the beginning of July. This is when the deer really became an issue was like 4th of July weekend. Everything in my area was closed, so I didn't have the opportunity to get to a store to pick up more t posts or more fencing or anything like that so I just had to work with what I had here on the homestead and what I had was just enough fencing and just enough deer fence to cover like this section of the garden which is the stuff that they were eating they weren't touching my tomatoes so that's why this was the priority and I talked to my husband, we want to wait to fence off the rest of the garden, the rest of the tomatoes, until after we get them trellised because we don't want to be working around outside fencing, perimeter fencing, and then trying to pull in things over the fence. It's going to make it the process more difficult. So that's kind of our thinking on that. But we're going to hop into the second section here, which um, other than the tomatoes, I think might be my favorite section. So in this section here, we actually have mostly brassicas. My brother was actually really gracious and he came and helped me pick weeds and kind of um, get things figured out. He's actually been a lot of help in the garden this year. He helped us plant it, helped us put it in. He went to the, uh, to the greenhouse with me and helped me pick out my plants and stuff. So it's been really fun actually having him involved too this year. But here are the rest of our pepper plants and you can see these ones look much happier. They might not be as big but they definitely look happier we've actually got some white flowers on here and these seem just uh, a little bit thicker a little bit more sturdy same thing here you can see this one actually has some white flowers coming in on it these look much better I left the tag here because these are my yellow sweet peppers which means these four here are going to be my red peppers same thing they're looking much better so we cut down this kale in a recent video and went ahead and preserved this. I'm making green powder out of these to basically like hide in things over the winter. And they've already grown back quite a bit. I did that about a week ago, you can see. But you can see all the new growth that's already coming in on here, which is great. I'm going to be able to make more powder here really soon. These are my cabbages. And before the garden got fenced off, you can see here, this is where the deer was really coming in. I'm also having some bug issues. And I just haven't had the time to get out here and really pick the cabbage moths off of here and all of the eggs 
off of my cabbages so some of them look pretty sad I'm not gonna lie but this is my first year trying to grow cabbages so if I get anything off of these I'll be really happy I also have some more cabbages on the other end of the garden so this one looks the roughest but as you kind of come down further into the garden they look better and better this cabbage is beautiful minus where some of the uh bugs have gotten it but you can see i've got some really nice heads in here which makes me super happy they're actually really beautiful and i'm really excited to harvest these and then give my chickens these outer cabbage leaves i think they're gonna love that i think this is my favorite section of the garden because it's been the section that i've been able to keep up with the most you can see it's definitely gotten away from us weeds are just part of the garden and it's part of the beauty of it so i'm trying to remind myself of that even though I feel like I'm I'm choking, maybe not in this section, but you'll see in that section over there that it's a little overwhelming. I can't remember what all of these were. I thought this was a cabbage just because I, if you pull it back in the middle here, if it's a cauliflower, you'll be able to see the white head, but I'm pretty sure this is another cabbage. I know I put in Brussels sprouts in here, but I can't find them, so I don't know if they died. Um, this is a broccoli. I'm pretty sure it's a bro broccoli plant because this is where I planted my Brussels sprouts, but they just kind of disappeared. So I don't know if this is a Brussels sprout or a broccoli, but I'm like 99% sure it's a broccoli, but there's no head on it yet. So I can't tell. This was a huge boost for me mentally because we were talking about feeling just kind of discouraged, like nothing's coming out of here. Well, after about a week of being inside, dealing with flu things and getting the house back together, I came out here and I saw that there are zucchini growing on here and it just made me really happy. It just kind of made me feel like, okay, things are happening and <laughs> it's not gonna be like a total failure this year. If nothing else, I've already got kale in there. I've already got some zucchini coming in and so far my tomatoes look the best they've ever looked and i'm just trying to remind myself to stay positive i think i'm just coming into the garden kind of in a funk this week just because of everything that happened with the flu dealing with like all of that and we're a large family it's a hard it's it's rough when everybody gets the flu and mentally it can really wear you down and i think that's kind of where i was at so coming out here and just like recentering myself, just picking some weeds, getting my hands in the soil really helped re, like just put me back into a really good mood. So I'm trying to separate all of last week and come into this week just feeling really good about it. So I'm trying to separate everything because the garden is my happy spot. I'm trying to keep it like that. So we have another zucchini. Pretty sure this is a broccoli. This might be, this might actually be a cauliflower. So cauliflower and broccoli plants look very similar, but I can show you the difference here. So I'm pretty sure this is a cauliflower because you can see these leaves are a lot more rounded like this. So if you go in here and you peek, you'll see maybe like the start of a really little white head in here and that's gonna be the cauliflower. Versus, so remember these are our round leaves here. This is a broccoli. So you can see these leaves are a lot more narrow. They're more pointed almost. They're like, oblong i guess this is a broccoli and you can see if you look down in here i have a teeny tiny little broccoli head oh i'm gonna pick off that bug get out of there this is my broccoli shoo but this is a little broccoli head starting which is really great i haven't seen that before so this is just another little boost that things are happening down here that makes me ecstatic but yeah pretty sure this is another cauliflower coming in here which is great and i actually pulled back one of these heads this morning after i was done with the chickens where is it let's see i think it was this one right here um i pulled this back and there is a huge white cauliflower head in there can you see that that made me ecstatic so things are happening oh i have another little broccoli head here yay perfect these are the rest of my cabbages. These are the ones that the deer didn't get. One, two, three. And you can see how pristine they look. Just beautiful. Big, gorgeous cabbage heads, which makes me so unbelievably happy. And we have another cauliflower growing deep in here, which is beautiful as well. Now, right here, 
in the midst of my weeds are actually rutabaga. I've never grown rutabaga before. Very excited to try it. I love rutabagas. I love to eat them in pasties, which we make a lot, especially through the winter. They're basically just like little hand pies that you dip in gravy or my kids like to dip them in ketchup. So I only grew a small section here because I've never grown them before and I've never stored them. And they're doing really well, at least from the top, they seem to be doing really well, even in the midst of all these weeds. So that makes me hopeful. Here's my lettuce all through here, also eaten up by weeds. We have been picking through this and it's been great. We are now in the third and final section of the garden. So this whole section that we're currently standing in is the expansion that we put on this year. So the weeds are horrendous, horrendous. You can tell the difference between where the old garden was. There's almost no grass. There's no grass, there's like just weeds. Well in here, we have grass. And that is the most painstaking thing to wit to pick or weed. It is relentless. It's gonna take, I think, three or four seasons before we can get this grass to not be like this. I wasn't super concerned about it because I did sort of think ahead and make this more of like my squash beds and things so once the squash gets to a certain point it's not going to matter and hopefully it'll help choke out some of this grass so you can see my squash plants are growing up trying to escape the grass that's on the bottom i'm currently working this is like my project through the weekend and through the week to try to get some of this taken care of my husband's gonna bring the tiller through here and help till some things up and that'll help quite a bit but these four here are our big, big Max pumpkins that we planted. I got those seeds from my gardener. They look really good, actually. I'm very happy. No flowers yet, but they still got lots of time. We have a ton. This whole row all the way down is butternut. And then the rest of this row here is all spaghetti squash. And as you move down the row, some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger. But they're looking really, really good. As I planted seeds, we also had some kind of escape and <laughs> kind of go wherever they wanted to, which is fine. So these are my beans. I actually came out here last night while my husband did like bedtime and all that stuff with the kids and then just called me in to nurse the baby before he put her down for bed. And I was able to make some serious progress out here kid free, which was extremely helpful. So I've got this section all weeded out here and this makes me feel a whole lot better but these are our green beans and they actually look way happier today so just a 24 hour of weeding they look a lot happier they're a lot greener which is great they were actually very yellow i'm going to get some nitrogen based fertilizer from my feed mill over the weekend and hopefully get all of these these plants weeded and fed and that should just boost everybody right back up but things are happening they're going to start shooting some flowers here soon um, but this is why i think it's a nitrogen issue they're kind of yellow and browning and this soil hasn't been you know it doesn't have three or four garden seasons already in this soil it's fresh soil which i'm also trying to remember that stuff on this half of the garden probably isn't going to grow as great as stuff on the other half of the garden because that garden has been loved and nurtured in the soil we've been taking really good care of it year after year after year where this side of the garden is fresh it is stage one garden so i know i have a ton of people who watch me and they say you're inspiring me to make a garden or you're i get comments sometimes that your stuff doesn't look like my stuff or your stuff doesn't look like other people's you're watching if you're on year one this is year one soil right it's not capable of you know five years ten years soil or even just three or four years soil which we have over there it makes a huge difference in nurturing your soil and all of that stuff so this is me talking to myself but also talking to you don't be discouraged because next year your garden is going to be better because your soil is going to be better but here are my onions and these i'm actually pleasantly surprised with i do want to come out here and cut these off because i've been researching onions once they start drooping over like this, they'll actually stop growing. So if you come here and you cut these, it'll actually stimulate more growth in your green onions here. And it'll make your bulb grow bigger. And for each green stalk you have coming out of your onion, that's for one ring in your onion. So the more stalks you have here, 
the more rings you have in your actual onion. So we're gonna come down here together probably this weekend and trim these so that they keep growing, but I'm super happy with this. Just some more of the green beans we were able to weed together. These are the green beans and the peas that the deer just blew over. They were about this high and then the deer ate them all the way down to the ground. So I'm also trying to remember that, that this is like take two of these green beans, but these are actually starting to come back. They're starting to vine. We're also, I wanna get these weeded before I put them up to trellis. See, like you can see here, these are where the deer came in and just ate them down to nothing. Just, they were down to the ground. But that is my garden tour for July. I wish that it was better and everything was tall and gorgeous and I was super happy and thrilled and we were harvesting all the things already, but I'm learning to be patient. I've got some more work to do in here. I'm actually excited to get back out here throughout the weekend and finish weeding some things, finish taking care of some things and uh, just kind of get things back up and running. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me in my garden and of course I will catch you guys in another one. Bye.